South Africa has the opportunity to frame what sustainable development means in practice through working landscapes, and that's where we're trying to move towards. This next decade, all of the multilateral uh, policies and partnerships are going to be geared toward restoring degraded land across the planet. The diverse um, ecological functions of wildlife play a role in restoring that ecosystem productivity. Wildlife is this resource for enabling sustainable development and that is, yeah, it's this, it's this paradigm shift in you know, what conservation looks like and, and it's an, it's an African-led paradigm shift. When it comes to wildlife management, we simply don't have the data. We don't know what's happening, um, we don't know how the sector actually operates, um, and, and also we, we don't know sort of the institutional landscapes within the sector all that well. And for us, this PEST project is a, a, a window um, into that space and sort of getting our, our foot into that door. If we want to see conservation succeed, we need to work with those sectors. There's a huge misunderstanding um, uh, of how the game ranching uh, industry operates and what it, how it contributes and what its um, biodiversity conservation value is. It's, it's about time for us just to work closer together and to see where we can get with this. I think we can definitely use the statistics to the benefit of uh, wildlife and also uh, to take uh, the wildlife industry to a next step. We trained a new cohort of 22 natural science students in an integrated program that combines both land degradation and sustainable land management skills with socio-economic profiling, with ecological science. I really understand the need for this information about our industry, about our wildlife economy to be revealed, to be discovered. We, we need this. Going through all these surveys and chatting to so many landowners, how they are invested in their land and how they are implementing sustainable land management practices to try and restore or rehabilitate the productivity of that land. And I think that South Africa has the huge potential to grow this industry. I visited 14 farms and uh, that was literally my first experience on a farm. The industry is contributing enormously to, to the economy. Um, the, 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 the ecotourism, the hunting, like everything, ev in every thing that is done on each of the farms we went to, the people employed, it's contributing back to, to, to its, con to its uh, community. It's important that we work very closely with the natural resources and get a very good understanding of the natural resources, the condition, the threats of, to the natural resources, because this is what the whole industry is based on. I think in some of the, the way these farmers tackle land issues, they, they do take the holistic approach and they understand that they do not want to restore immediate productivity for the next day, but they understand they want to sort of restore the system and create ecological buffer. There's a lot of thinking going into the way they, they tackle these issues and I think if that continues to be worked on and uh, more techniques are developed and more research is done, they can, we can create the sustainable land use for wildlife country. This experience of being an RA for the wildlife economy, it changed a lot of my views regarding wildlife economy 
regarding how these properties or these businesses are managed. All of these things needs to be communicated to the public. So I feel like from that point of view, communication would be a really, really good key to get people, to get investments, to get the narrative of wildlife economy, wildlife ranches seen in a more positive view. We really need to prioritise the wildlife economy and realise what an important resource we have in our wildlife in this country. I, I'm overwhelmed truly about how diverse and how dynamic that this place is. Like it's absolutely incredible. It's so beautiful and has so much to offer and it's just untouched and it's pristine and it's everything that you think nature to be as you read it in stories or as you watch it in movies. You can find a little bit of that in the Eastern Cape. You'll go to Hogsback and you feel like you are dancing with someone in The Hobbit. And then you go into the grasslands and you'll feel like you're in Scotland's in the High Fell. So it's really, really nice. Um, and it's such a special province to me. We feel confident that this new knowledge that has been developed and these new partnerships that have been formed are truly going to take the development of the wildlife industry forward in a productive manner that helps benefit people and planets and of course makes businesses viable. And this is what we mean by an inclusive biodiversity economy. I just want to say that uh, it's nice to work with uh, Sandy and with Jeff uh, also to make a difference uh, for the wildlife industry. And I commend all of these farmers for the hard work, the passion and everything they have for the wildlife, for the businesses. It, it takes a lot so I would just like to say thank you for them and thank you for the efforts and the inputs that they put into conservation by doing this. So thank you to all of them. We are so happy to hear what you have to say and thank you for showing us around on your farms and showing us how you're managing your land. And it's been an eye-opening experience and we just want to thank you. I'd like to thank the farmers. They were awesome. Seeing the passion like with, with you guys talking about what you do and the passion and how, how you guys are so well invested in what you do. Thank you so much guys, you fed us uh, with so much information. We, we, fall, we fall from the information you fed us. Thank you very much to all the landowners for your time and your openness and your generosity and I've had a beautiful, beautiful experience. Thank you. Thank you to the landowners. We'd like to thank all the landowners for their participation in the survey. We truly appreciate your time. I know it was uh, quite a long survey but we genuinely believe that it will mark a new way forward or at least open up a new conversation between the wildlife industry, government, research and civil society.